up this ladder, especially for me, because I couldn't get up the, uh, you know, it's impossible for me to get up the other ones. Right, Ed. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Go yeah, on there, are you? Yes, yes. I draw this stuff back like that with your left hand. Flying over Europa. Thank God. I mean, I never dreamed that you know I'd be able to do something like this. This is rather weird. There's an absolutely straight line running right across Europa. And it doesn't look like an artifact of the. That's a weirdy. Gosh. You see the way? It, you see the way it cuts right across that? There's a valley there. Okay, there's a valley there, right? You go jump straight over it. You can scan it, fly over it. <laughs> in a way, much more has happened in space exploration than I imagined in 2001. We've seen space probes go to almost all the planets except Pluto. And we've discovered more about Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, their fantastic moons than I ever dreamed I would know in my own lifetime. Always be very careful. I always like to tip. I always like to tip. No one can even guess at what types of life may exist in other environments. I mean, look at our own planet Earth. Who could have imagined the giraffe or the giant squid or the elephant? I mean, life takes an infinite variety of forms, and any um, guess as to what life might be like on other worlds is just nonsense, which incident is why I don't take any of these reports of alien abductions and meetings with aliens seriously. They always meet human beings, so that's nonsense. <laughs> festered in the back of my mind, and then suddenly I had a <clears throat> brilliant idea, if I may say so, for the possible opening of the final odyssey, which is the revival of the astronaut Frank Poole, who you saw spinning off into space, and I realized I could bring him back a thousand years later and start from there, and that was really what triggered the book. Some people like to be made immortal by their work. I'd like to be immortal by not dying. Well, I'm afraid I can't opt for that. <laughs> but I would like my books, particularly my favorite novel, I guess, which is The Songs of Distant Earth, which incidentally Mike Oldfield has just made a very nice, very beautiful suite out of that. Uh, Childhood's End, and of course the Odyssey books, and, um, and of course the invention, if that's the right word, at least the conception, the concept of the communication satellite. Maybe the focus.